Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Hopefully everybody had a great New Year's and hopefully everybody had a great Christmas. We're going to get into these games of 2023 that I'm most hyped for and um, I'm going to jump right into it. So that's right. What I got coming up um, is Forspoken. Now, Forspoken is a game that I'm looking forward to. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully. But. You know, you, sometimes you got to take things with a grain of salt. Um, right. I played the demo, and I've mentioned this in a previous video. And um, the demo was fine. I think the graphics were needs a little bit more polish. Maybe the gameplay needs a little bit more polish. Um, it it's holding on pretty well. I like the little poor core elements that they have in it. Um, it's supposed to be releasing January twenty fourth of this year. Yeah. And um, I'm hoping that it's a good game. I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the word hoping a lot because <laughs> we've had some stinkers last year. But I'll get into that a little bit later. I'm and gonna it's get also into Square Enix. Yeah, it's yeah it's made by Square Enix. Um, it's uh it's an action role playing game that's made by Luminous or de is developed by Luminous and the publisher is Square Enix. Um. That's one of the games that I'm looking forward to for Spoken. Um, another game that I'm looking forward to is a game called Wanted Dead. Wanted Dead is a game that's made from um, a group that everybody knows because they made the Ninja Gaiden games. And I think this game is going to be good. I'm hoping <laughs> that it's good. It looks really good from the videos that I saw. Um, it's a hack and slash shooter. It's a hybrid. It's about a group uh, of zombie. They're a zombie unit, and they're like going to trying to uncover conspiracies and things of that such. But it's a, it's shaping up to be a really good game. That game comes out, I think, the day before Valentine's Day of this year. Um, yeah, February thirteenth. Yeah. Well, so um, I'm looking forward to that. That's another game for 2023 that I'm looking forward to. So my, some my games on my list are coming out like months after each other, like one month after each other. Because another game that's coming out actually is Ishin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Ishin Like a Dragon. For people that don't know about that, you should check that one out too. Because that looks like it's going to be a really good game. Because I've played the Yakuza series, and that's who... It's Sega. It's it's um they're making that game. It's 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 from the it's a spinoff from the Yakuza series, and um it's made by it's the same people that made um, Judgment as well. Judgment is a gr really good game. It's a detective game. But Ishin Like a Dragon is coming out February twenty second of this year. The next game on my list that I'm hoping is really good. <laughs> Is gonna be Dead Island 2. And this game is supposed to come out years ago. This game been up in development for a very long time, from what I remember. Um, do you remember anything about it? Um, yeah. I remember Dead Island had like two different ones. It was like Riptide. Yeah. And then um the first one, Who Do You Voodoo? Oh yeah, yeah, yep. The first Dead Island, yep. And they, they recently had those ones on sale for like three dollars and ninety nine cents or something like that. Um, the last it's a classic ones. trashy game. Yeah, it, I'm hoping it's better than Dying Light though, because Dying Light I didn't really care too much for. And the I second think one. that yeah, Dying yeah, Dying Light Two. Sorry, yeah, thank you, because I was gonna get scolded because I like Dying Light One. Dying Light <laughs> One was really good, and the reason why it was a little small thing, but I like Dying Light One because it had guns in it. The second one doesn't have guns in it, as far as what I can play. And as far as what I'm going to see on videos, they have like a little makeshift gun, but that's about it. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Dying Light 2 is another game that I'm looking out forward to. And that comes out April 23rd. Now, the next game that I'm looking forward to is going to be Suicide Squad. Now, we've seen videos on Suicide Squad, and I'm really hoping that Suicide Squad <laughs> will scratch that itch because there was another game that came out that's dealing with DC Comics that didn't fare too well and because it's been overshadowed by another game that you know they kept getting compared to 
Um, but Suicide Squad is another game I'm looking forward to. I'm I'm trying to I want to know like what do you think? How do you think they're gonna handle Superman and Batman and all these great heroes? <laughs> right, because the title is Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League. Right now, um, Nether Realm made a Injustice game. Right, no one died. <laughs> right, so <laughs> even though Rocksteady is making this game. My question is, how are they going to fight off Batman? How are they going to fight the Flash? Right. How are they going to fight um, Green Lantern? Right. Because they don't have powers. No. And then the question is, are they going to force these characters to have weaponry? Mm. Captain Boomerang uses boomerangs. Right. Deadshot has guns, of mm. course. King Shark doesn't. No. What is he going to use for combat? From what the gameplay I saw, it looked like he was holding a, some kind of Gatling gun or something. He was I remember he was holding yeah. it like low, and he was shooting. So okay. they're going to probably have him have some kind of weaponry. And doesn't he have, like, super strength? It's not to the equivalent of Superman. Let's not, you know, no, get outrageous. Man, but he does have, he's like— He's pretty strong. Yeah. He's pretty strong. Um, then that's my question. Are they going to force these characters to— play like we're in a shooting game right because harley quinn has the revolver yeah she also uses a bat yeah so is captain boomerang the only one that's throwing the boomerangs around so it's it's tough because how are they going to manage the flash and superman super speed right those are, are right. tough things rock city has ahead i'm looking forward to it as well just like you are yeah. so but those questions do make me wonder, will well, this game be actually good? From the trailer that I saw uh, that was on the Game Awards of last year, they showed um, – they had the Flash. Um, Boomer, Captain Boomerang, he had him and out. He was I don't know. Yeah, it was like he was holding him up against the wall, and then he, I think he ended up actually slicing the dude's finger off and all that stuff. And it was just – it was like, how did they even catch catch Flash yeah. like that? Yeah, how did um, they catch the Flash? I'm, I think I'm more – I'm trying to figure out how they're going to get rid of Superman. I mean, well, Superman, you got to get kryptonite, get him out of here. I guess, I mean, it, you know, it's that. But if you got a, a pissed-off Superman, how would you stop that one? Even a Batman, because Batman doesn't normally kill people in that trailer. I think yeah. he killed that police yeah. officer. Seemed like you know, he killed like, Yeah. Something. So I was like, if you got a, a much more pissed-off, relentless Batman, yeah. <laughs> how are you supposed <laughs> to stop that? <laughs> which, which also brings my other question. Is it going to be like you pick a character <coughs> and you only see that character? You don't command the other characters until yeah. a cutscene comes. Yeah, I wonder how they're going to do that too. They might go the route of Gotham where you pick the character and then um, you just play the story mode with that character. Which said character might be in the cutscene. If I'm playing with you, if we were just playing together, would you be in the cutscene too? Or. Will it be a situation where on your TV screen you see your character talking to whoever, and on right. my screen it's my character talking to whoever? Yeah. And oh, we we gonna find out eventually. I'm pretty sure they're gonna show some clips, but hopefully they show some. I just hope the game is polished. I hope the game is finished. I, I hope, agree. I hope that the story it, it the story doesn't have to be great. A lot of these games are you know rehashed and this story's being retold. And things of that such. I just hope that it's a good game, a great game, that can live up to the expectation. Because it it has a lot of a lot a lot of expectations going on for it. Yeah, it's a rock steady game. Yeah, it's been a while since they've made something. Especially after that situation with Gotham, because now everybody kind of wa- want to wash that taste out of their mouth as far as something from rock steady. So um, because even you know even though Gotham Knights wasn't a rock steady game, you know, it was, but it was kind of piggybacking off of Batman, mm-hmm. you know, they're trying to shine a light on those heroes, but I don't know. It just didn't go so well. Oh, um, but yeah, I'm hoping that this one is going to be successful. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So my next game that I'm looking forward to is Street Fighter 6. Fighting game. For all my fighting game fans out there, Street Fighter 6 has got a lot 
a lot going for it this year. Um, it's supposed to come out June 2nd of this year. Um, I've seen a lot of single player stuff, a lot of stuff like you can play with your friends against, you know, the computer AI or, you know, compete against them. They got these little weird modes where it's like a bull running across the screen. You While you're fighting, it's a bull coming, running, and you got okay. to avoid the bull while, uh, while fighting your opponent. And I've seen a lot of people playing the cl closed betas, uh, a lot of YouTubers and things of that such. It looks really promising. I, I like the character. It's a girl on there named Marissa. She's like a big gladiator, like Roman type warrior, whatnot. Okay. She's dope, though. She she look like she's going to be hitting like Is a freight gonna train. Is she going to be the female Zangief? <clears throat> nah, not really. I think she's just going to be a female powerhouse, like a juggernaut. Cause I didn't see a lot of grabs. Cause you know okay. Zangi was more about grabbing. He, yeah. yeah, she was throwing them, them haymakers, and you know letting you know that she was her presence was there. Mm. Um, but that's one of the characters that I'm looking forward to playing with, and you know the traditional Ken and Ryu's. Um, and I'm trying to. I want to know what other characters are gonna. They didn't show Ed or Akuma yet. I've seen DJ. I've seen um, this other lady called Mad Madone. Mad I can't remember her name. She's like a judo ballerina type girl. She's pretty cool. Wasn't Akuma a DLC for Five? Yeah, he was. He was well, yeah, he was, was DLC. Right, yeah. He might, but they've already leaked the character. He might not. I don't think he's gonna be a DLC. I think he's gonna be a character. Just gonna add him a little bit later. Like as far as the game get closer to release, because we still got a few months. I mean, we're only in January, mm. so they got some time. Sure. They, I, they probably will show something maybe in March or April or something like that. They'll show us some other characters because they still missing like four or five characters. I could be wrong. I, it might be like three or four, but yeah. from what I saw, it looks promising. Because I know <laughs> when Street Fighter Five came out, oh, it was bare bones. It was no, it was no story mode, no arcade mode. It was just versus, 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 which is you know it's a fighting game, it's versus, of course. Yeah. But some people always don't want to play online. You know, you got people no. that want to play with friends or you know or or just play something by themselves. You know, they want to play the story mode or play the arcade mode, get the feel of the game instead of just jumping right into it. True. Um, but yeah, that that that's one of the uh, one of the games that I'm hoping is really good. Then the last game that I'm looking forward to is Spider-Man 2. I think a lot of people are looking forward to that one because of the success of Miles Morales and the first Spider-Man game. Um, Asomniac has established a really uh, swell reputation for their Spider-Man game. So hopefully this one is one of the ones that stands out. And I seen my boy was in it, uh, my favorite villain, or He's a villain slash anti hero. Who? Villain? Uh, Venom. Oh. He's like a. He sometimes. He's like, an anti hero now. Yeah. yeah. So he's. An he's whatever. He, but I like him a lot. And hopefully they do him justice. Um, hopefully mm -hmm. they get a good voice. They get his suit right. Because I'm saying, one of the Spider Man games, he didn't have the spider on his chest. So hopefully they give him that spider. I can't remember which game it was. He didn't have the. the was it the PlayStation one? I think it was the one on PlayStation. Yeah. But um, but um, those are the games that I'm looking forward to in 2023. Your most anticipated. Yeah, and there's there's others, but I only want to make a long list. <laughs> we'll be here for two days. <laughs> yeah, we'll be here for too damn long. And then you know, I just wanted to talk about some of the worst games that we've gonna had from last year, and I'm just hoping that these games that are coming out for this year don't suffer the same fate as the ones from last year, and. You know, three of the games that's on the list is games that I currently own right now, which one is Valkyrie Elysium, which a lot of people didn't like. Um, I still don't quite understand because I'm. I guess I know they have Valkyrie, the Valkyrie, whatever the 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 the, the franchise that is or series. They are tactics and RPG. Is this is a action uh, RPG game? It's more of a like mm -hmm. a. A Devil May Cry or God of War style kind of game where you're running not not old school uh, God of War, not the new one, not over the shoulder, but mm -hmm. um, this one you um, from what I played, I played the demo. I have the game, but I haven't opened it yet because I was trying to get through some of these other games. But I did buy it right. when it was on sale at twenty for twenty nine ninety nine at GameStop promotion. But 
<laughs> Sponsor. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, Valkyrie released him as a action RPG game or action role playing game, and um, the only problem I had with it was that I didn't like the voice syncing. It was, just felt like a really. Isn't it a JRP? Yeah, I think JRPG, so. JRPG, I mean. Yeah, it's like it, it, usually like, their you, games don't have too much. Yeah, cause when, you, when you were talking, when I was talking to Odin because he was sending me on a mission. Um, <laughs> like his he was talking, but his mouth wasn't moving quite where with the words. So it just you know felt like okay. a a really bad '80s action uh, yeah. kung fu movie. But that was one of the games I was on many people's lists. I liked the game, I enjoyed it, but that was one of the games. Another game was Gungrave, which mm. I can understand why it's on people's list of worst game of 2022 too because it's too old school for its own good and i like old school style games from like the playstation 2 but i think a lot of the controls were dated i feel like they could have they had the technology and probably the money to make a better version of gungrave uh it just it didn't flow too well but i'm still getting through the game i'm on like chapter 24 I'm trying to muster and get through it. I'm enjoying it for what it is, but it do feel a little dated, so I can understand why it's on the list of worst games because we kind of left that behind. We could have evolved more and put more into the gameplay mechanics and things of like that, so you can keep that old school style, but you can refine it and do other things with that. You don't have to stay stuck in that cell. You know, you can get out and stretch your legs. You know what I'm saying? So, What much could you do with it, though? Um... You can have it where it's not so it's not so linear because it's just straightforward. And I like okay. straightforward games. Don't get me wrong. I like my straightforward games where I don't have to do too many side quests and things. That's just not a problem. It just seems like it's just too like stiff sometimes. I feel like I understand he's a dead man, but he's a little too stiff when it comes to the shooting. And most of the time, all you're doing is shooting. And then the melee okay. combat isn't so good. I wish I... I it's just, I just wish they would have done something a little bit better. You I mean, you press the circle button, he swings his coffin, and his mm -hmm. coffin is huge. His coffin's about the size of this table, and it's on his back, yeah. and he's swinging it against these little people, and they just standing there taking the hits, you know, and I'm like, hey, you don't fall down. Like, you got to hit him, like, a, a lot of times to kill him. It's like, it's a big-ass coffin, you know what I'm saying? It just felt a little day. They could have <laughs> done a little bit more. They couldn't have kind of ventured into, like, the – um <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sad it's like <laughs> you getting hit with a coffin you should you don't flinch you just blink you know that's all you do you know but i think they could have done more with it they could have done more with the shooting is fine they could have done more with the, a lot of the melee melee combat and things of that such right. um another game that's on the list of worst games of 2022 is a game that i'm pretty sure everybody knows about is Babylon's Fall. Now, Babylon's Fall was a live service game. It was trying to do that whole uh, Avengers stick. Um, mm. Was it made by the same people? No. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Was it? I think it was. No. Square uh, Enix. Plat it was Platinum that did the action. I think Square Enix did the publishing or something like that. Okay. One of those or something like that. I'm probably getting it wrong. Somebody uh, comment on the comment section let me know. Comment on any of this stuff and let me know. Let me know I'm wrong about something or say something. You know, we appreciate that. <laughs> we'll try to get back to you on it. But um, Babylon's Fall was one of those games. It was like it was a live service game and they tried to like sell you shit. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get you to play that game. Another you know, destiny. Yeah. yeah. And so with Babylon's Fall, like it says, a live service game and it's not made it's made by the same people I think that did the Avengers. Like I said, people let me know in the comment section. I could be wrong. But anyway, it was it had the whole um platinum games behind it as far as with the action. And those are the same people that did Near Automata, they did Bayonetta, you know, they did all the like cool action games. This wasn't a cool game. It was too it's muddy. The graphics were muddy. They said that uh, the storyline was just all over the place. Um, they tried to do too much, and then it had it had really bad glitches in it. And okay. they're um, terminating their um, online services, I believe, this year. So, so they said this been the, out for how long? It came out in March, I think, seven months last year. Yeah. Okay. So. Damn, how many that's months? Not long. That? That's not long. It's that's not even a full long. year. So, 
they're they're terminating everything this year. Um, and that's one of the games that were was was the worst game of 2022. Then the next game I got um, was Mario Strikers, and that's a you know Nintendo Switch game, and you expect Mario to have a great game. You know, Mario always bringing out games, and but for some reason this one didn't quite meet that mark. Uh, most of the complaints I've been heard was like was the stages they um didn't have they, they didn't do too much with the environments that they could have done they have so i think nintendo has so much money so much influence so many different characters that they could have flooded that game with a whole lot of stuff and that game could have still been alive right now and what i mean by alive i mean like it could have been a, a bigger fan base for it because you already got mario and you already got your reputation you know, with that, you could have really expanded on that game and done a lot with it, like you did Mario Kart Deluxe or, you know, any of the Mario, Mario Kart 8 games, you know. Um, yeah, but I think they're like, ex- like one thing about Nintendo, it mm-hmm. seems like they experiment. Because honestly, you think about it, yeah, we kind of considered them into the console wars, yeah. but they seem like they're in their own lane. Yeah, and which they are as far as <laughs> piggybacking off the own lane thing because they keep saying that some people keep saying that they need a new system. And mm-hmm. I'm not really ready for another Switch. I just got a PS5. I don't know if I'm ready to give up a Switch. Get another Switch you know, yeah, something. get another version or whatever. Um, but people were complaining about the hardware. They're like, oh, the hardware isn't you know as fast or it can't handle certain mm-hmm. games if you put it in, if you take it out of dock, you know, leave it. Yeah. But I'm like, yeah. it's a handheld device and a home device at the same yeah. time so i mean i don't know but um there are a lot of people saying that they wanted to they wanted another nintendo or another nintendo console nintendo console but I, the reason why i was speaking on the mario strikers thing is that and and and, and putting out that they should have more stuff to us because they've been in the soccer lane before you yeah. know, but everybody was, yeah. I think it was one called Supercharge or something like that. And everybody kept talking about that one. And it was like, oh, look at all the content on this one. This game is this years old, this many years old. And this game is this, yeah. this game just came out. And, uh, but y'all make too much money to push out the shit that y'all push out. And y'all have a loyal fan base. Your yeah. games never, yeah. almost never drop. No. Mario Odyssey is still $60. <laughs> That came out 2017. Like, you know, like, I've never seen a Mario game not, under 35 bucks. And I've actually got Mario Odyssey and Mario uh what is that? Um one of the it was one of the old school ones that was on the Wii U. And, and they redid it for the Switch. And I it was 39.99. So they was both 40 bucks. Okay. I paid like 80 something dollars, which was would be the equivalent of one Mario game. Almost. Um but <laughs> But yeah, like they had a lot of characters. They could have put Link in there. They could have put a lot of different characters. And they they did add characters later as it free DLC. But I think the ship has already sailed because people it left a bitter taste in people's mouths when you did it like the way they did it. You know, with the, especially with this, they still didn't fix the stages. People was complaining okay. about the, like the environments that they you know playing soccer. What was in. wrong with the stages? They said they just some one guy was saying that um they didn't do enough as far as like changing the environment like half the field like one part of the field to be half it's like a like okay one part of the field be yellow and the other part of the field be green and that'd be about it and then the stadium the fans would be you know this little generic enemies and stuff like that okay and it was just it didn't they didn't do enough like Easter egg you know put certain things oh, and they didn't do like they didn't work their magic. Yeah. As far as what yeah. that goes, so, but I, I played the demo. It was fine when I played it when it um, dropped, but I never bought the game. I, um, okay. Because I heard too many complaints about, it and I just kind of steered clear of it. But <laughs> and I was actually, I wasn't gonna get it. Nah. Uh, uh, anyway. <laughs> you remember and, um, they made um, on the 3ds they made the basketball game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I wasn't gonna get that. that was an experiment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But the thing is, they could have done a lot. I just feel like, and this has been going on with a lot of the you know gaming companies. They have a lot of money, and they have they have iconic characters, and they just don't they don't push it. They don't push it to the limit. I feel like games were being pushed to the limit back in the days when like the PlayStation Twos and the 
in the um, Dreamcast and stuff like that. It was a lot of games. But there was some dirtball-ass games that came out, and they just was like, hey, we just trying to make some money, you know what I'm saying? They just bro- bring some games out. But there were some genuine games that that really garnered attention and really put themselves out there where they can really sell a good product. You know, we've experienced okay. those. But to this, like today's standards, is like just just get it out there. We just gonna push it out. You know, we'll patch it later. It's just, yeah. and I was in the last last patch video that we talked about stuff like that. So, um, yeah. But that just that pretty much wraps it up for me. Um, as far as games that I was looking forward to, and then some of the games that really failed for last year. Um, anything you want to add? You want to talk about anything or? Uh, well, I mean. <clears throat> majority of our list is almost the same. Uh, I got a couple things. Of course, Atomic Heart. Yeah. I've talked about that a couple of times. Same as Forspoken. Um, but you know, one thing I did like about Forspoken, and it's the way the combat system works. Okay. It, it, it kind of plays like you can be a mixture of a magician. It plays like you can be a mixture of a great swords player. Yeah. Um, I do like that. Uh, the graphics do look kind of funky, though. <laughs> yeah. The graphics definitely look funky. Yeah. But I think the biggest game I'm waiting for for this year is The Wolf Among Us 2. Okay. I don't know if you ever played a Telltale game, but a Telltale game is more story-driven. So pretty much heavy rain. Okay. It plays just just okay. like Heavy Rain. So it's like um, De- Detroit Become Human, and yeah, and, and, uh, it plays just like that. Okay, but the art style is more cel shaded, mm. like uh, Budokai Two. Okay, yeah, okay, <laughs> got an okay. old school gangster yeah. for, for you. Yeah, um, but so you play as Wolf Bixby Wolf. Mm. He's like the detective of Fable Town, and Fable Town consists of all of our childhood stories, Snow White. Okay. Beauty oh, wow. and the Beast, yeah, and um, it puts them into a real world, so they have to kind of live life day to day, but they can't be their uh, fairy tale selves. Hmm. They have to get this trinket that's called a fable, and it gives them a human form. What? Um, so, yeah, and so how the first one ends, you're trying to figure out who killed the prostitutes, pretty much. Okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> and how it ends, it stays unsolved. Even when you kill Ichabon Crane, um, if you kill him, it's still an unsolved mystery. He's not spoilers, are they? No. This, okay. this game's been out since <laughs> 2012. 2012. Yeah, oh, this damn, game's been man. out since 2012. You ain't saying it then. And you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> man, okay. And, um, yeah. The... Part two pretty much is just picking up from where it's left off. Okay. So I already have the first one still installed. I replayed it. I'm pretty much just waiting for the second one to mm-hmm. drop. And I've been waiting 10 years now, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, just as long as Cyberpunk. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. That's how long I've been okay. waiting. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. And then another one is Skull and Bones. Uh, Skull and Bones is U- Ubisoft's version of that Xbox game. Um, uh, I forgot the name. It's called Pirate Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Okay, yeah. I remember that. Um, I remember that. Yeah, it's pretty much just their version <laughs> of it. But I do believe you playing a third person view. Sea of Thieves was more of first person. Um, okay. I think they they probably won't do too much difference. Besides the character view, mm. but it's another online game, mass multiplayer. You pretty much band of pirates, you guys selling it around. And I missed my opportunity with Sea of Thieves. Oh, okay. When it came out, I didn't get it. And then by the time it came to Game Pass, or by the time I paid attention to it, mm. people were already like either not playing it or they were so far ahead. Yeah. Um, I wonder. <laughs> since since uh, it's made by Ubisoft, I wonder if they're they're riding that Black Flag type of. I think they'll Black use Flag some of the mechanics from Black Flag. Flag. Um, Black Flag was one of my favorite Assassin's Creed too. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so yeah, that was the do. best Assassin's Creed as far as like people that are Assassin's Creed fans. Yeah, you know, I didn't. I couldn't get past all the boat shit. Like mm-hmm. it was just a lot of traveling for me. But I, I understand why people like it so much. I like that when he when you tr- um <laughs> when you. Uh, <laughs> you you uh you trying to catch a whale or something and you be having to chase it you throwing spears oh, at it yeah. just chucking them spears at it <laughs> but yeah um okay skull and bones okay when is that supposed to come yeah. out uh later this month later no, this month I'm sorry not this month uh, I believe it comes April April okay yeah. okay um it's all platforms or is it I think it's PlayStation Xbox and PC okay, okay. so majority okay. of the major ones. I don't, yeah, because Nintendo wouldn't be able to handle it. Mm-hmm. Uh, nah, hey, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Especially in handheld mode. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, I was, you know what? Switch actually was shocked. It, it handled Doom. Did it? Yeah, Doom Eternal. But Doom Eternal is a different kind of game, though. It's fast yeah, pace. but see, it, Doom I mean, wasn't really um, challenging of a game. Because uh, most basic PCs was able to run that. Mm, okay, um, okay. And what I mean by like challenging, it's uh, performance. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, I, got, I did get a little lost. I was going to ask some questions, yeah, but go ahead. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> you can run Doom and no stuttering or anything. Mm. And you don't even have to have that shit in HD. Oh, okay. okay. Um, but. It's like cyberpunk cyberpunk yeah. for every system was a performance issue it was very challenging for your systems to run it yeah uh most people computers you can hear it like a damn jet engine when that's how the place that you know what and that's how the playstation 4 was playstation mm-hmm. 4 or it is it's still like that it's yeah. still like that. i know when i ran uh, doom on there it was like it was ran to leave the living room i'm like damn where are you going and, you know <laughs> But the, I know the the fives don't the five don't do that. I can play. I was playing. Um, I played Doom and it didn't. It wasn't loud at all. I didn't even hear it. I could play it in a quiet room and it was perfectly fine. But right. the fours for some reason just was loud. I don't understand. It's trying just to different trying hardware. To play a newer game on an outdated system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now you playing outdated games on a newer system because you can Pretty play much. PS4 games on the PS5. But then you can upgrade them. But some places like to charge you. Like Tiny Tina's Wonderland. They want to charge you $10 just an upgrade. You know, most games are free. You know, I don't understand that shit. But, hey, <laughs> they got to make, make money it. somewhere. Right, right. Um, also, then, it's another Ubisoft game, uh, Redfall. I don't know Redfall. if you've heard of it. No. Uh, Redfall is a, it's a shooter game. It's online. But you work with the team to kind of help take over the town. Okay. So um, I can't tell you the story. I kind of didn't hear all of it. Mm-hmm. But the gist of it, uh, vampires have taken over the town. Okay. And it's up to you and three other people to help, you know, solve the mystery and stop all these vampires from taking over. Think of uh, Left 4 not Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead. Think for like gameplay as like Left 4 Dead. It's frantic like that? Left 4 Dead? Okay. In a way. In a way. Hopefully uh, it's, ba- got, it's better than Back 4 Blood. Vampires like flying and shit. Oh, okay. Uh, hopefully it's back, better than Black for Blood. Yeah, because Black for Blood was trying <laughs> to live up to that same thing. And... Yeah. I didn't even get <laughs> past that. I didn't get past the second mission. I was mm. done after that. Mm. <laughs> I, what threw me was the cards. You got it's like a little card system you got to give your character. Uh, yeah. like, I don't want to do that. I just want to upgrade the gun, buy a perk. Let me just get some currency. What happened to just getting currency? Why are they always trying to throw these curveballs, man? What's up with that? Let me just get some currency. Game. Buy. Let me buy my skills. Let me buy. Do I got you know this for this weapon and this for that weapon <laughs> and this for this outfit or whatever? Like, all right. <laughs> I was trying some shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> I haven't looked too much into it, but they are making another Legend of Zelda game. Okay. Um, of course, it's just a continuation from Breath of the Wild. Okay. Which is almost impossible to find at <laughs> GameStop right now. Mm. I've been looking. I think I went to 10 different GameStops. I have not seen that game. Mm. Usually, you see like one used copy, yeah. a new copy. 
Yeah. That was For the it. last four months, I have not seen a Breath of Wild copy. Like Nana said, you should have been there. Should have been, been there. there. <laughs> <laughs> should have been there. <laughs> And last on my list for most anticipated games, mm. Starfield. Okay. Starfield is pretty much, um, pretty much Fallout. It's another Fallout like game, but this time they're trying to expand their universe. Uh, so you pretty much play as a space marine. You get to travel to, according to them. You get to travel to a thousand star systems. I don't know how true that is. I'm just going to wait and see. Can you imagine the hours play a thousand star systems would be? Yeah. Yeah. You would I've, never beat the game. <laughs> Unless I've all those are side freaking, <laughs> I've played freaking um, Flight Simulator. Okay. And I'm thinking, like, they're just cutting – the time and half for your flight path. No, these are true flight paths. Really? If you're flying from New York to LA, that's a six hour flight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in the game, it's it's like an hour, three hours almost of you just flying. And they use like Bing's map system. Mm. But um, to get back to Starfield, it it's like a space of fallout. Uh, it's created by the same people. So, okay. Um, Obsidian. Hopefully, from the gameplay we saw, it's better than what it is because it does look very sluggish. Mm. Um, it doesn't look responsive. Okay. When they showed some shooting scenes, it looked kind of delayed. Mm. So, hopefully, this game doesn't disappoint. I mean, I loved Fallout 4, but that's because I'm not telling you all the BS that was in the game. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. And there's, I remember how one, I had one where the dude was swimming, and it was no water. He was stuck in a swimming animation. <laughs> but that's that got to be annoying as hell, man. That just sounds annoying. Yeah, it was because he wasn't he wasn't shooting it there. But Damn. Um, yeah, I think that's. I think that's our well, that about, most anticipated games. Yeah, that about wraps it up for us for today. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, that'll help. You know, if you like helping people, help us. You know what I'm saying? That, that'll, you know, it'll make you feel good at the same time. You know what I'm saying? You be good. <laughs> so um, we're about to conclude this, and my fellow – uh, go on and <laughs> sign us up. <laughs> <laughs> the sign us up. As my co host was saying, <laughs> uh, if you want to catch any other video, they'll be in one of these sections where my fingers are pointing. Yeah, somewhere over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lamar. It's my man Cross right here. <laughs> Peace.